Hello there everybody, I'm Master Rolf and welcome to another part in our Let's Play as the French in the Great War Mod. When we last left off, we were just about done purging Clevs of the heathen Austrians. And now we push on towards the inner sanctum of the German Empire. The German Reich. Now, in general, this is a little bit of a, of a scary situation for the most part. Just the Austrians on our right flank, the Germans on the northern front, the Italians down south, Everybody coming to take a piece of the French pie, and right now, I'm pretty bloodied and bruised. Now, the Germans and the Austrians actually won't attack us because their armies are mostly made up of machine gun bunkers, and machine gun bunkers are very strong units, but they're immobile. And because of that, they're really only used for defensive purposes. So when it comes to holding down a province, machine gun bunkers are great. However, however... When it comes to the offensive, they're terrible. And most of their armies are made up of machine gun bunkers, so most of their armies are really made up for defense, not really for offense. So the Austrians and the Germans won't really attack us if their armies are mostly made up of machine gun bunkers because they can't use them. Realistically, then, the only units they could use would be the units that aren't machine gun bunkers, like artillery or rifle infantry. Right now, Hanover is a good example of the machine gun bunkers sort of inability to attack like pretty much Hanover has what four units of machine guns and then the rest of them are just rifle cav so pretty much he has only an army of rifle cav to attack military units and that's about it or not military units um cities look at this four machine gun bunkers rifle rifle cav and rifle infantry so he can only use the rifle cav and the rifle infantry to attack Oldenburg not the machine gun bunkers so, he has a fairly small offensive force, but a very large defensive force. Same can be said for Munich. He has tons of machine gun bunkers, so Munich isn't going to fall to us anytime soon. But he has very little rifle infantry and artillery, which means... Eh, he's kind of weak to attack. I mean, he's kind of weak when it comes to the offensive. So, let's go ahead and counter him with some more machine gun bunkers. It seems like you guys are done, right? Yeah, you're done. Good. Let's move you over there and in France we can move you down south good and you're done as well so we can move you hmm let's get some machine guns and some more rifle for tree good now he didn't move his units over there so I'm just going to go back down not really deal with him not mess with him whatsoever and he does have units over there so they can ambush me all around this entire area is just a, a giant slap in the face to anybody who comes through. Because, bam, get ambushed, bam, get ambushed. And right now, I don't want to get ambushed. Not anytime soon. Maybe later. So let's go ahead and go to Oldenburg. There are units coming in, but they're fairly small for the most part. Oh yeah, by the way, we should stop exempting some cities from taxation because, for the most part, we need to gather up as much, I guess, cash as we can. No, oh, Stuttgart, you're you're gonna be taxed. I don't give a shit about what you think about that. Goddamn scrub. Who does he think he is anyway? All right, so let's see. Can I move here? And should I move here? Well, I wouldn't be avoiding this army. Don't really know what's over there though. Well, I guess we can go ahead and figure out. Go play and go. Tell me, what do the Germans have in store for me? Yeah, you're not really helpful. Damn. 18% chance of success? I'm not going to take that. I need you. Here, what's over here? Ah, 80%. Good. Machine gun bunkers, field guns, rifle victory. We could barrel down to Darn Stolt. That'd be pretty good. I mean, it could work. Well, let's send in forces to Oldenburg. First and foremost, Oldenburg needs our protection from the Reich. Okay, okay. Settle down, ladies. Settle down. What's our ego like? Oh, I actually do not know. Well, where? How do I check? Ah, there we go. Eh, that's an okay amount of eco to make per turn, but I mean we gotta improve that. 
Once we lose Provence, we are going to lose a ton of eco. Now, I'm not going to fight in the field battle against Italy because for the most part, it's kind of useless. I'd rather take my chance with the auto resolve. I know it's a little bit dumb, but there's no point in fighting a battle that we know we're going to lose. I hate how ammunition plays a key role in Napoleon Total War. I really do. I guess it makes sense. You know, if I attack Darn Stalt, he will be distracted, so... I guess we gotta go in hot. Hello there, friend. How are you doing today? Let's auto resolve. How did we lose 235 guys to one fucking machine? Oh, that boils my ball sacks. Whatever. Let's just move up north. And let's see what he does. Let's see what Austria does. Let's see what all these scrub lords do. Alright, can I build any more units? All four machine gun bunkers? That's pretty much standard for the most part. Switzerland, you need to back me up, man. Like, where are you? Who are you fighting at? Uh, a war with Austria. Yeah, you, you fight Austria, man. Send in your army. There has to be a way to tell Switzerland to stop being a pussy. I wonder if I can give Switzerland Provence. That'd be hilarious. The great Swiss Empire rises. Whoop, I dropped something. Alright, Austria, raise your dongers. Show me what you got, girl. A bunch of units moving into the forests. Like they're gnomes or some shit. Oh. Please, you're my savior. Please, please, you're like the Spanish Jesus. Help me, help me. Listen, you help me out, I help you out. I allowed you to kill Portugal, and when everybody said, yo, you're a barbarian, I was like, hey, Spain's cool, man. Don't mess with Spain. Why did Italy back off? Oh shit, they're going deeper and deeper into my terrain. Yep, here comes the Italian horde. Three stacks. Are you fucking serious? Oh, god damn it. This mod is unforgiving at times. It's mostly because of contrived bullshit like this, but damn. Damn, we completely lost. Well, did we at least weaken up his forces when they came in? No, we didn't. Okay. I thought you actually weakened up forces when you besieged a city or something. Eh, oh well, fuck it. Doesn't really matter. This massive force of Austrians is just moving on through. like they own the place. Who do you think you are, Bob Barker? Oh, these Austrians over here completely bypass us. Don't even give a damn. Hmm. These are heavy field guns. Shit, I don't even have new and improved field guns. Gas warfare. Holy shit, that can actually help. Okay, time to get gas warfare. And you know what? Orleans, get caterpillar tracks. Good. We'll soon be able to get out the tanks. And that can maybe turn the tide of battle. Yeah, I seriously thought that uh, if you laid siege to a province and then that province just gives up, then essentially what ends up happening is the units in the city will fight back and do some damage to the military units. I didn't know they just got the city for free. Yeah, oh well. Doesn't really matter at the end, in the grand scheme of things. Now, should I attack Darn Stalt or should I not? The Austrians are over here, but then again, we are protected by machine gun bunkers, so that's good. Klaus is also protected by machine gun bunkers, so I mean, 
I don't have to worry too much about any bad guys. The Austrians over here are going to be a little bit of a problem. There are tons of Austrians. Good golly. Oh, but we have a lot of military units being produced. A ton, honestly. Yeah, we can we can do this. Go ahead and move the mortars. Good, 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 good. Let me just go ahead and get out regular machine guns. Alright, and now Italy, it's going to take them a long time too, but I think they're marching on to France. If they are, that's good. If they're not, that's bad. we got to find an avenue to attack them. Like, we need to find a little choke point and then push them back. Here, you know what, Italy? Let's talk. Peace again. Come on. I will give you these techs. You're a goddamn tarred muffin, you know that? Maybe I can make some peace with Austria. You know what? We can maybe do it. If we make peace with Austria, maybe, just maybe, we can live. Um, against the onslaught that is Germany and Italy. Even for one turn, because then Austria would have to back up all their units. And then we can focus all of our new troops on Italy and Germany for at least a turn. I don't know. Let's check it out. One uh one opponent is better than I mean not one opponent but two opponents are better than three for the most part. All right then, I'm giving him tech. I'm gonna see how this goes. It might end poorly. It might not. Okay, so let's give him two. Shit. Okay, that didn't work. Let's give him three this time around. Shit. Let's give him four. Fuck you. Well, that didn't work. And Italy is still a big giant NO. This is insane. Well, we're kind of screwed. From the Austrians. Oh, well, I guess we can go out in a blaze of glory. Heavy field guns. Let's see. If I rush at them. Wait, where's this machine gun bunkers? Did you get rid of your machine gun bunkers? You giant buffoon. Wow. He's moving in hot. You know what? It's time we go out in a blaze of glory. Attack Hanover. Let's see who shit. This might end poorly. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just attack. Go. Gerald Marley versus Gotelib Bloom and William Carlanda. We just gotta go. We just we just gotta go. And try our best, men. Try your bloody best. We're fighting in this war, remember that? We're not fighting in this war, we're on the offensive in this battle, so we gotta go. Gotta go in hot. You know, they're completely in circles, so let's just go ahead and attack on multiple sides. No, get into group three, there we go. And you guys can go into, I guess, light infantry mode. Whatever that means. Alright then. Charge. Go, 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 go. Where's their machine gun bunkers? Oh, wait, wait. They don't have them. Right. So heavy field guns. That's all we have to worry about. Okay, as much as I love mortars, they're kind of a little bit useless if they're all the way back here. So let's go ahead and move them forward. And we'll move, speed up you guys a little bit, just a tad. Come on, my brothers, come on! Go forward! The Emperor protects! The Emperor serves. Okay, 
Okay, we are dangerously close to the great German horde. Have them completely surrounded on all sides. Dog is out and everything. Not in firing range yet. Oh no, we are. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Is our general? Are you under attack? From what? The tree? The ends mean you no harm, friend. Must be from artillery he's firing at us with. Yeah, that's the only explanation I have. Well, that's okay. But the French are here. Light up, men. Light up. Get ready to fire upon the savages. Think of your rifle as a baptizer. Yes, something that can turn the greatest of heathens into the most gentle like of all. Alright, right about now we are winning on all sides. It's basically over. Oh, here it comes. Wretched horde at us. Keep firing on that. Keep firing. Whoa. Who's that Pokemon? It's a horse. Of course. A kingdom for my horse. Wow. Good job using those horses, chap. Okay, everybody just. Um. Guys, we do it. Halt and fire. All you gotta do. All you gotta do. Halt and fire. My French troops get aggroed pretty easily. It's like they're in anger management or something. What is going on, man? And right about now, we've basically neutralized most of their enemy. They have nothing. Yes, yeah, a glorious victory will soon be mine. I agree, Chavez. Wait. Why would I name my butler Chavez? Alright, oh, this is Spanish. Spanish aren't good for warfare, apparently. According to this mod. Wow, that's a lot of horses. That's a lot of horses you got there, Sonny. Did these guys not see the entire movie War Horse? I mean, I know it was pretty bad, but... The reason why... In the end of Warhorse, he almost died was because the Warhorse was basically useless. I I'm just saying. But when you have tanks, why would you even use a horse? Maybe a camel, because those are tough. Okay, enemy general dead. Yeah, that's what you get for running into a giant wall by force. I'm, I'm just saying. That ain't none of my business, but, you know. Move up. Time to look into the face of the Germans and just scream hullabaloo, how you doing? Hullabaloo. Wow, we're really creaming them tonight. Alright, finally. Here's what we need to do now. We need to do the most epic of spawn camps possible. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Line up. Line up. I don't even care about friendly fire at this point. Just... 
Fire upon the enemy. There we go. Are right, you lovely traps, you? Just run forward. Get ready to fire. Back. Yeah, you guys should just stop moving and then fire. You know one you prefer, to be honest. Okay, you've routed completely. Good, good, good. Oh, you're routing too? You backed off? Huh? Who do you think you are, huh? Coming to the battlefield and just like backing off? Hey, you better get out of here. Get out of here. We don't need your kind here. Oh, yeah, Chris R. What, you didn't get a turn to talk about? Get out of here. Just route. Get out. I love how as soon as they come in, they're just like, nope, 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 nope. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Do give a shit about the men? No. End the battle. A heroic victory indeed for France. Victory that we definitely did need. 500 loss, but we killed about 2,000. And we conquered Hanover. Loot the fuck out of Hanover. Fuck Hanover. Loot the shit out of Hanover. Gonna cost a lot to repair these, but that's okay. We ended up making quite a bit of dosh. Anyway, my name's Master Rolfus. I'm gonna end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.